When I first heard that Francesco Bernoulli was going to be included in this year's Racing Red Series, which is basically just making all the cars metallic red for the anniversary of cars, I was a little surprised. I was like, it's kind of an odd choice, you know? I mean, first of all, we're celebrating cars, not cars too. He's kind of like a minor character in the grand scheme of things, and he's already red, and they already made a metallic version of him exclusive to Toys R Us way back in 2011. And not only that, they made the carbon version, which has all these black accents, and it's honestly... Like these two had a baby and bam, you have racing red Francesco, a little hybrid of the two. But anyways, guys, welcome back to another Disney docket presentation. We're going to dive right in. Obviously, this guy came out of 2021 singles case H. I unboxed it several days ago. I'll leave that link in the description and card suggestion pop up way up there. I love the artwork. You know, best thing about the series is that they actually changed the artwork. I love that. He looks gorgeous there in metallic. I love how he looks in black too. Francesco may consider actually changing this to his permanent paint job. I mean, obviously he won't be commemorating his home a country of Italy much with it, but he looks, he looks good, you know, he looks fantastic. New for 2021, Desert Horizon, metal, racing red logo right there. And on the back now, you see Sally, who I've yet to review, but I will soon. Jackson and Mater, I have already reviewed. I'll leave those links in the description and card suggestion as well. There's your little image for Francesco. And the last two will be Dinoco Cruz Ramirez and Lightning McQueen. Very exciting stuff. I'll be right back with this beaut all opened up. Man, this guy looks fantastic out of the package. Really, just a stunning car visually. I just love how, you know, he's got the chrome silver back here as well. Metallic black almost, something that we've really never seen before. He looks really cool and might end up being my favorite racing red so far. But I will toss a little picture of Francesco. I mean, it has been a while since we've seen him, obviously, on the big screen. It's been, what's it been now? Wow, 10 years, right? Yeah, wow. I can't believe it's the 10th anniversary of cars too as well oh my goodness wowzers getting old anyway let's take a look here at his expression which they did end up changing for the racing red version which is awesome you can see his eyes are a little bit more aggressive now they're a little larger he definitely looks a little bit more lifelike whereas this is i don't know he just looks a little dull but yeah the mouth's pretty much the same the eyes are different Number one, of course, with the Italian flag there, that stayed the same. Although instead of it being green on that side, it's now black, which is basically like kind of a smaller version of the rest of his paint job, which used to be green, white, and red, and now it's black, silver, and red, which is so cool. Now this headpiece is plastic, as it's always been. So unfortunately, it doesn't have like the metallic finish. It's kind of like an orangish, dark red. I don't know. I don't really like it, but it's hard to make the plastic kind of mesh with the die cast metal. Rotelli tires still. They did not make his rims metallic. It doesn't, well, they're a little darker, but you know, with like Sally and Jackson Storm, they made them, uh, I guess not metallic, but red. So for him, they didn't really have to do anything because they already were red. His little front guard up here, whatever you call it, is now gray with black instead of white and green so that's really neat fr all in all so this is obviously not like a current version of francesco i think some people were confused like this should be like a 2021 version of francesco like how he's actually like you know currently living in the universe of cars but it's a snapshot of his cars two world grand prix versions so that's why he still has you know these all in all and world grand prix decals Kind of weird. They really kind of botched the World Grand Prix globe there, if you see. So it says WGP, and then that globe, which is now just like a black sphere with red inside. That was supposed to be like the globe right there. So it's kind of funny how they did that. I don't know, interesting. So all the leathers of WGP are black. I like it, though. Now, they did keep that Italian flag green, white, and red, whereas that one they changed. So that's another interesting choice. 
His signature is there, but it is so faint, you can barely see it. Probably won't even know if it was there unless you saw on the regular version of Francesco. But yeah, the decals actually look solid for being from Thailand. That looks pretty good. World Grand Prix there on the spoiler. I just love these chrome parts too. I'm like, we really didn't get much of that on the other racing rides. Like nothing on Mater. Jackson Storms did have a cool silver chrome with his S there, but I don't know why. I just really am in love with it here on Francesco. And the black just looks so cool. Another color that we didn't really see on the other racing reds. Like there's obviously none Sally or Mater. A little bit on Jackson. And we'll see about the, the upcoming ones. And, you know, obviously they're on the poster there, but it'll be better to see them in person. They didn't change the colors on these logos either, but they are back there. Very forgettable decals back there, but I'm glad they remembered. Such a beautiful car. So you have a date stamp. Oh, wow. Snuck the date stamp all the way up on the spoiler. May in the 12th week of 2021 at the A Factory. All right. Cool stuff. Let's compare them to Metallic Francesco. So it's obviously a different shade of Metallic now being from Thailand versus China. And this was a pretty lame version of Francesco because only the red was Metallic and they didn't even do like the spoiler. They could have made like the green metallic, they could have made the white silvery, but nah, they were pretty lazy with these back in the day. But I think they balled out with Racing Red Francesco. It is my favorite version. It's official now, guys. That is my favorite Racing Red Francesco. I think it's just such an odd choice, but it's so odd that it really works. And then also wanted to compare him to Carbon Francesco. Because he has all this black on him as well and some gray, so they do look kind of similar. Granted, Carbon Francesco is a different wing. People corrected me. They're like, a spoiler has to be attached to the body. Like entirely, I guess. A wing, like this is a proper wing. This is not a spoiler. I really had no idea. I thought spoiler was like an overarching thing. I apologize. And then it honestly is also kind of like a hybrid of those two and silver Francesco because you do have some silver accents in here as well. Although <laughs> in different spots, it's funny that like you have the silver there and there, but on this version, <laughs> both of those spots are white. It's kind of funny. Hey, well, the fronts are kind of similar though. Hmm. The bumpers or whatever. Really, really nice. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's pull up. Let's adjust the camera here a little bit. Let's pull up the other racing reds. They all look really neat together. Let me know in the comment section below, which is your favorite? You can include Sally on this as well. But so far out of the four that have been released, which is your favorite? Like I said, I have to go with Francesco. I just think he looks fantastic with the black and the chrome silver. Really can't go wrong with it. Let's pull up the whole team here to support him because he just looks so good. Oh my goodness. I did find Case H the other day at a store, but lo and behold, him and Clovis Rider were gone along with the second Nick shift. So it's kind of depressing. I really hope I can find them. I still have not even found a single racing red in a store. Like, isn't that wild? I have not found one. And it's been like eight months since the first one was released. Oh well. Not too upset about it. I will see you guys some other time for another video. Bye now.